Hey guys, it's Twin Goddesses, and this is part two of the quick weave wig that I was making. And I'm back, and before I get started with the hair, because I'm all finished now, before I get started, I want to talk to you guys about the hair, because I didn't even really mention anything about this hair. So real quick, the hair again is by Altre, it's um, the Batik, or, or Batik Jerry Curl Weaving Hair, and it's 16 inches, and it says it's 100% Kanakalon fibers, and it's like a premium multi-blend. And then inside the box, it has some instructions, or not some instructions, but some information about the hair. And it says that it's new high-tech blend. It looks and feels so close to human hair. Um, weaving tracks feature a superior finish, no shedding, fully folded, and non flammable for your safety. So that's some information about the hair. And um, what I want to say was, I didn't know this before I got started, but what I found is that it's not even double stitch tracks. They're only a single track. And so you get two bundles of hair. I thought that the hair was, you know, this long, but it was two bundles of hair there. And, um, yeah, it's all, um, single stitch. So, um, for you people who like to split your tracks, you don't have to do it with this hair because it's all single stitch. So that was pretty good. I, um, that's what I liked about the hair. And also check out the blog. I'll leave the information at the bottom down here. Um, if you guys want to know more about the hair, okay? And so, with all that being said, let's get to, to the tutorial. I hate saying that word, tutorial. Okay, whatever. But I finished the hair, and it's all done. Um, so this is what it looks like. Okay, and then I sewed on the weft clips last night. I wanted to record myself doing it, but I just got too tired. I just did it real quick. If you guys want to know how to do it, let me know. I might do a video on it, or you can check out um, some other young ladies here on YouTube who I'm quite sure have videos on this. Just go ahead and YouTube search it. You'll find it. Um, but that's what the clips look like. And then I did clean up the part that, that I, um, the simulate part, the simulate method part. I cleaned it up. Um, I thought that I was recording it, but my camera died on me, so that's why I just kind of look funky when I first cut it. But that's what it looks like now that I had cleaned it up. So yeah, it's kind of looking like a semi-weave, I guess you can say. And yeah, I didn't pull out any of the curls yet, so I don't think I'm going to wear it out like this. Yeah, right. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. I went ahead and at first I did curl my hair with that little curling iron that I did have. And the curls were just too big. It just, it wouldn't blend in at all with this. So I went ahead and I did the rods and I was scared to do it because, you know, they always come out so bad um, on my hair. But one came out and I thought that it was a little bit too small in comparison to the curl pattern on this. But I think it's alright. I think it's okay. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. Hopefully the rest of them um, comes out pretty, uh, pretty well. But I did use some of this Motions Foamy Wrap Lotion on it I put it on my hair I, I wrapped it around the rods and then I sprayed it with some of this Afrogee spritz and, um, spritz and shine yeah so that's the products that I used and hopefully it comes out okay but I'm going to go ahead and start taking these out now It's all right. It's a little bit too tight, you know. Like I said before, in comparison to the weaving hair that I use, but it's all right. Okay. So there's my center part, and there's the curls. I'm gonna go ahead and gather these all up. Okay. So I pretty much have my hair back in a ponytail like that. You can corn roll it up if you want. Yeah, whatever. But um, my hair is in a ponytail, so I'm going to go ahead and put her on. I'm going to start with the back first. Hmm. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab where that that clip is. I'm gonna open it up. And I'm gonna pull it as close to the part right here as I can get it. And then and then lock it in. Do the same thing with this side. Pull it as close to the part and then lock it. How can I get that a little bit closer? Okay. All right. Okay, so this is the homemade wig on. And again, I wish I, I would have used three packs because it's a little bit too thin in the back for me and too full in the front. But we're going to work with this because it's all learning experience. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and blend in my hair with the wig. I have a couple of bobby pins that we can use. It feels a little, curls feel a little bit crunchy. I might want to spray something on it to loosen them up a little bit. Okay, guys. So what I went ahead and I did, I sprayed some of my um my Le Charme, um soft look. It's a curl softener. So um, I sprayed some of that in front of my hair because it was like super crispy, whatever. Um, and now I'm just going to spray some oil sheen on it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit of oil sheen on it. Okay. So this is what she looks like on. I haven't cut her. I haven't pulled any curls out. Alright, so I'm going to start to pull these curls apart a little bit. Back. I'm going to pull these curls out a little bit. I might use the comb, but for the most part I'm using my fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now.
Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I'm finally finished. Um, what I did was I finger combed it out, like I said. I sprayed some of my, my curl softener and then I shaped it up with some scissors. Um, just to make it a little bit more thinner in the front. I'm probably going to take off a little bit more hair, but for the most part, I am satisfied. So, this is the way that she's going to look for now. Um, let's see. My, my curls dropped in the front. As you can see, they dropped. If, you're, if your hair is naturally curly, um, you can probably do this better than I can. So this is a good idea for you natural girls out there. But my curls dropped. I'm going to try to put some more curls in it um, with the rods. But for the most part, this is a general idea of what I did. Um, um, there's the center part. Alright. And um, here it is from the side. Alright, and here it is from the back. And then the other side. Alright, so I would appreciate it if you guys let me know what you feel about it. Yeah. Um, Alright, so um, rate, comment, subscribe. You know I hate saying that, but yep. Um, follow us on our blog if you're not following us so far. Check our blog out. I'll put the information um, below, as you guys all know. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.